to the Jeremy Hill Show. I am the gentleman who has gone rogue, and if you are easily triggered, leave now because this is not the show for you. Now, what I'm going to do today, right now, is try to help help women understand, black women in particular, why they are going to be forever, forever single. Signal. Single. <laughs> Sorry. Single. The reason why you're going to find yourself being alone and probably dying by yourself is because of your mindset, your attitude. Now, I'm going to play a clip out of fair use for educational purposes to show you exactly what I mean, educating you on how your bad attitude can keep you sane. Let's go ahead and get started. One second, ladies and gentlemen. You know what? I agree with everything this man is saying. Ladies, we need to adopt this mentality as well. Because at the end of the day, playing for a race. And like, why would you want to keep someone on your team that's not contributing to winning a ring? The roster should consist of players that want to show up every day and compete. And the ones that are truly hungry are going to show up to practice early, but leave late because they want to prove to you that they're the best. You want players that are fundamental. In other words, she wants you to know that she has a whole bunch of options. And if you want to be with her, you need to climb the mountain, jump the hoops, and swim through shark infested waters to prove your love and devotion to her. I don't think so, lady. And they'll be sound, meaning they have all the basics covered. You won't have to remind them of anything. They're great at communicating, and they just play their role. These are all skills needed to compete at this higher level. And if he's not competing, then he doesn't want to play. Y'all know what happens to the players when they're not performing well and they act like they don't want to play? They get kicked off the team. I like that. I like that a lot. Yep. The women are moving just like the men are moving. The whatever guys, this just goes to show that the women want the same things that the men want that's why they're becoming a lot more masculine because they want to be seen they want to move the same way the men move and do the same things that the men do what these women don't realize is that they only got a certain window of time for, for that just like the exactly you women are walking around as if you are immortal as if your beauty is going to last forever no it's not you age quicker than you think i'm telling you right now you can be 20 years old, and before you know it, them years will fly by so fast, you 42. Fly by again faster, now you're 56. So, ladies, you need to go ahead and get off your high horse and get you a good man. And when you get a good man, keep him. Like I said in my last video, when you actually get you a good man, stop thinking that there is a better man than the good man that you got because there is not a good man or better man than him. When you say stupid stuff like what the... Well, what one man won't do, the next man will. That is a mother blanking line. A lot of men, because every man is different. They may do something similar to other men. Each man may do some similar things, but every man is different and won't hold you the same way, love you the same way, do the same things that the other man do. It just won't. You might find someone better, but it ain't going to be the same. So there is no such thing as if you got a good man, there's a better man than him. You better keep what you got, because that might be the man that God sent to you. This lady here, you see her before the makeup. But can you see this lady here, fresh face, no makeup? There's gonna come a day that you're gonna be dating a man, and that man didn't know that your face was painted on. I know I definitely don't care for women who wear a lot of makeup. I like natural faces early in the morning, throughout the day, and at night. Oriented or not, because the truth is, a person's going to stay with you based on your actions. Yeah, Diana, but here, this is the part where accountability comes in place because females hold the key to sex and men hold the key to commitment. And men okay, I want to um break that down because I keep hearing that a lot that um women have the key to sex and men have the key to commitment. I'm gonna tell you, they both share a little bit of the same. You cannot make a woman marry you no more. You can make a man marry you. You cannot make a woman sleep with you no more. You can make a man sleep with you. When they say that, because I never hear no one actually explain this, when a man said we hold the um, keys to commitment, all, all that means is that we are in full control of our assets, our resources, and our money. You can't get that out of us unless we choose to give it to you. Now, when it comes to the sleeping around part with the woman, it's the same thing. She chooses whether or not to sleep with you. The thing is, if she sleeps with you, what is her agenda? What are the motivations behind it? Is she just trying to get a bag out of you? So I, I wanted to break that down because I keep hearing that and it's the same talking point that's getting beat, old, beat and beat like a dead horse over and over and over. I'm like, come with something new or just explain that because I get tired of hearing the same thing all the time. Marriage. You're not going to get those things that you want in a man 
if you don't operate in a sense of what that man wants in you? I do. Diana. How I'm would you know? Now. Your own reality tells you that because they're not giving you that commitment. And she walks off. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, looks like Diana may be leaving. Are you leaving, Diana? Diana, come on. I was literally almost crying about this stupid piece of garbage, oh. and now you're basically telling me that it's Let's my talk own about it. Fault. It's it's all about taking accountability. Let's talk about it. How old are you? 53. At your age, have you found that dating has become easier or harder for you? Absolutely harder. Why is that? Less pool. Men seem to want just one thing. I thought I would outgrow that with men, but um, no, they do not. They still just want sex. Even in their 50s? Yes. 50-year-old men, are they going for women in their age category or younger women? They want women in their category, but they pretty much go for the younger woman. Why do you think that is? I think they um, don't expect that we have a sexual drive, and we do. And we are vivacious women. So it's still the same at your age that it was when you were younger? Yes, absolutely. <laughs> okay. The problem is you're not as attractive as you were when you was younger. Men look at that first. You might have a hell of a sex drive. You might, be a, might put it down in the bedroom. It doesn't matter if you look like a, a turd donkey. If you look like a turd donkey and smell like a turd donkey, then no man is really going to want to date you. I'm just being honest with you. If you look like a turd donkey with a musty back running around here talking about, if you love me, I'll do anything you want, I'll eat your booty and stuff like that, a man is still not going to want you. So you ladies have to start getting in your mind that while you are hot, when you are at your most attractive, attractiveness, that you are taking relationships seriously. Okay, okay. Do you ever feel like you wasted your hot era on someone? Like you look at old pictures of yourself at a certain time and you're like, oh my god, I was so bad. What the hell? I could have pulled anybody. And then you remember who you were obsessed with at the time and who you were like crying and screaming and throwing up over. Like, damn, they didn't even deserve that. I look too good to have been sad over you. Side note, that's probably you guys right now. Just know that future you is probably gonna look back and be like, I was too hot to be sad over that person. Snap out of it, he's probably ugly. So I recently told a guy friend of mine that I'm not dating anymore. He said, why? I said, because it's not fun. Me and him are the same age. I think he makes a little bit more money than me. I'm pretty sure he wants to fuck me, but whatever, that's besides the point. He basically said he's dating and he's having fun. And I said, I'm dating and I'm not having fun. You want to know why? Because men are doing the things that I did when I was in my 20s. I did the yachts. I did the girls trips. I did the sections in Miami. I've done the ghosting. I've done the being unintentional. I've done it all. Now I've lived. I've experienced. I want the other side of the book. Whereas Exactly. See, women do those things when they're young. They seek those things when they're young. But when they get older and they want to have a companion, they don't warn anybody out. They got so much mileage on their hodometer and so many body bodies on their body count that now they're used up. Now, what she said is men are doing what she used to do when she was younger. You know why? Because men value and productivity increases as he get older. So his desirability increases. So as a man get older, he tend to get more money, more resources, more assets, and more mobility to go anywhere he wants to go as he get older. So we have to kind of earn and build our value. Women are already come into this world with some type of value. And most time it's just their bodies, men chasing their bodies, not their intellect. It's not what they have. Cause most times women don't have nothing when they're young, when they 22, 23, don't have anything yet. They usually come later in life. You know what I mean? But as they get older, their physical appearance changes. They gain weight. Their attitudes get worse. They haven't had two or three different baby daddies have all these bad credit, all these different issues. So they go down as they get older. As they age, they depreciate in value. But when a man continues to be productive and progressive, his value, it just goes up. It skyrockets if he's doing the right thing with his own life. So, yeah, now it's too late for her. She's just telling y'all, y'all need to listen to what these women are saying, some of them in a way. He's making money. He's doing the trip now in his 30s. He's doing the boys' trips to Columbia, eating s'mores in Colorado. He's living a life currently that I've already lived. And I see that being a pattern in our 30s. 
And I see that's the issue why we are not able to meet and we just keep bucking at each other rather than combining. I don't know. I don't know if it makes sense. I hope it does. But either way, I've thrown my jersey in the stands because I don't want to play this game. This shit is whack. I'll see you 2024. So I'm about to go have a conversation with some guy that I was in. in this is the same woman that is speaking. Now look how crazy she act now. In the talking stages with, but I'm actually cutting it off because he's amazing, but he don't want children. Um, we haven't had any like adult exercises, so I feel like it's gonna be easy. But still, he's really a nice guy, and it's raining, so I don't want to make him sad. My, my body con, giving couch tip. It's raining. Up. Um, he punched your boots. Hold on. Wish me luck. Long story short, um, he wasn't feeling that. He thinks of a cop out. But I do. I did leave with some deuce. And then in this video, you see this lady counseling this guy because the guy said he wanted kids. She, and she even said the guy's a good guy. But why would you cast aside a guy just because he said he wanted kids? Like, there's a way around that. But like I said, a lot of these women think they got the luxury to toss guys away like like fish in a pond or a lake. A lot of these women don't know they may not catch that fish again. That is another thing I see with modern women. They actually think they have the time and the leverage to quote and so-called take themselves off the dating market. A lot of these women, they haven't got the luxury of reaching the age of 30 or 35 yet because if they are wise, they're, once they realize that they are getting older and they want more things, you're going to see them making videos regretting the men that they chose to cut off yes. or to get rid of or so-called stop dating or talking to because they thought they had leverage and time for that. They all, they love to say, once I hit 27, 29, I'm gonna go ahead and find a nice little simp guy, stop doing the whole hot girl thing, so I'm, I'm good at that point. I'm ready to have babies. And, but what they don't realize that the guys that they had on back burner, they are now getting their passports, leaving the country. What's something you wish you would've said? Like ever in my life? Never in your life. I was dating this guy and I don't know if it's so much what I wish I would have said, but it's something, it's like my only regret in life. I decided to not continue to date this person after college because I was moving to Chicago. He was moving somewhere else. And I kind of had this mindset of like, I'll find somebody else like him. And I thought about that person for years and what that could have meant because that connection was really amazing. It kind of haunted me for a long time. The breakups that are hardest to get over are the ones where you have that what if, where it was so amazing and maybe it was cut short. And then you have this vision of what your life could have been like with that person. And the ones that are actually sometimes easier to get over are the ones where you lived it out with that person. You worked through the challenges and you realized it wasn't gonna work. And then I'm not left wondering what if anymore, right? Was there ever part of you that still wants to reach out to I thought about it, but it feels, I don't know. I literally have a draft on my phone of a text that I would send him, but I don't feel the need to send it anymore. You learned how to be okay with it. Yeah, I feel more resolved than I ever did before, even though. You see, this lady is regretting. See, that's what's going to happen to a lot of you women. You're going to regret the choices you make in men. When you know you had a good man, but because you were selfish and self-entitled and bored because you think he was too predictable and stuff like that, you're going to get out in them streets and streets going to eat your ass up. And then you're going to go back to your life and you're going to start thinking, man, I had a good man. This woman says after years later of breaking up with a good man that she's thought about texting him and has a text that is in a draft on her phone. That is her understanding that she effed up. Even if, if that man pop up right now, she still try to get with him. Period. It was like 10 years ago. <laughs> That's all right. There's no time for it. What's your name? Gilly. Hunter. Nice to meet you. This is insane. A lot of you women will be going through that in the future. I guarantee it. Uh, I have a live stream today at 5.15 Central Standard Time. The subject will be over um, black women and their son husbands. Son husbands who treat their sons as if they should be their husbands. 
We'll talk about that today at 5.15 Central Standard Time. I'll see you soon. Thank you for tuning in. And thank you for your support. And the birthday wishes. I got a lot of birthday wishes. I got to respond to your comments. Thank you. I had a great birthday yesterday. I am now 46 years old. Lord has blessed me. Y'all have a good one.